It's a medical problem that in the past people have not wanted to discuss, mental illness. But now many say we need to start talking before it's too late. Pam has more in a 7 on your side medical watch. Pam? Thanks, Tom. For many of us, movies mold our image of the mentally ill, whether it's one flew over the cuckoo's nest or maybe a beautiful mind. For those who live with mental illness, the images are just a glimpse of a tormented life where no one really understands. That's until it happens to you or your family. Tonight, the untold story of a well-known upstate sports official who's ready to come forward and tell his story so you will understand. Terry Don Phillips, I'm athletic director. Hey, Mr. Athletic yeah. director, how you doing, Mr. Don Phillips? Yeah, yeah, have a good night. Thank you. He's the man in charge, and for the 80,000 fans at Death Valley, there's nothing quite like the euphoria of the gridiron. The excitement is magnified by watching it all unfold from the sidelines. For Terry Don Phillips, it's business as usual. Chris, you've been doing okay. From his friendly, mild manner, you would never know he is personally suffering as he tries to come to terms with the illness of his child. One night I got a call and he was in the uh, hospital. So, How uh, old was he then? Well, J.D. was, at that time, he was 19. Terry Don's son, J.D., was in a hospital in Louisiana. And as he relived that night... You have these flashbacks. <laughs> the heart-wrenching emotion is painful. He shared with us what he had never talked about openly until now. Oh, I sat with him for over three hours probably closer to four hours in a holding cell. A holding cell similar to this one for patients who suffer from mental illness. Terry Don's son was talking to voices, people who weren't there. The diagnosis, paranoid schizophrenia. That was probably the most difficult uh, uh, thing that I've ever done in my life. That was 10 years ago. Medication has helped JD, but it's not a cure. There is no cure for mental illness, and the financial strain is daunting. We brought him back from uh, Louisiana. You know, we'd gone through probably $20,000, $25,000 in about a month. It's here in an emergency center where many mentally ill patients, just like JD, first show up. Scared and uncertain of what's ahead, they can't stay here, and that's where the problem begins. There are times where we run out of the emergency rooms for this patient type. Kathy Welchel is talking about the mentally ill. She's the vice president of nursing at Spartanburg Regional. The problem with mental illness, it is very often a long-term illness. There is no place to send them for a longer period of time. But no one seems to have an easy answer. Even Dr. Bill Powell, a psychiatrist who has been treating patients in the upstate for the past 30 years. Do we have enough doctors to treat the mentally ill here? We do not. I think we definitely need more doctors. In your past, have you ever seen the state in this type of crisis with the mentally ill? Right now, it seems like this is probably the biggest crisis I've seen in recent years. And funding is a key component. Funding for mental health care is, uh, is a travesty, really. It's, it's shameful. Uh, most insurance companies don't cover it. In fact, numbers we obtained from the South Carolina chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness show the state is spending close to the same amount of money in treating the mentally ill from 1998 to 2005, even though the number of patients has increased. He's a good boy. That is a hard pill to swallow for families who now truly understand the painful realities of mental illness. You know the difference of what it's made in your life. Don't you think South Carolina needs to do more? There's no question. We need to do more. America needs to do more. I mean, that's why we have people on the streets. Trouble navigating. That's why Terry Don, as painful as it is, is speaking out, hoping someone is listening. Obviously, you have been through a lot, and it's not always been easy. So if today someone is going through that holding cell with their loved one, what advice would you give to them? You just uh, continue to love the person.
Um, because they need you. Now off camera, I've spoken with several state legislators who admit there is a problem with no easy solution. One senator told me the state's mental health department has challenges. Senator Vern Smith of Greer told me we're short on money for mental health. He suggested you write or call your state senator or representative. Clemson is actively reaching out to students who might have a mental illness with the help of a local chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. If you would like to hear more of Terry Don's story, he will be speaking December 6th at Spartanburg County's Public Library at noon.